In this video, we're going to talk about simple and compound interest. If you look at the screen, simple interest, we are given a formula. Um, it is I equals PRT. I, which stands for interest. P, which stands for principal. And a principal is my starting dollar amount. R is my rate. Usually in a problem, it is given to me as a percent. So when we work on a problem, we have to change it to a decimal or a fraction. Generally, decimals are easier to work with. And T is time. That tells you how many years this interest is accruing or um, how many months. Usually it's in terms of years, though. Then if you look underneath it, we have a, a little bit more complicated formula for compound interest. A is your um, dollar amount including what you started with and including interest already added together. For simple interest, it's just the amount of money that you've made. Compound already has it all um, put together. P also still is principal, your um, amount that you started with. And then if you look in the parentheses, we're taking one plus R, R being the rate. Again, we need to rewrite R as a percent, I mean, as a decimal. And then T at this time is an exponent and still T means time. Now for these types of problems, you will be allowed to use a calculator, which makes compound interest much, much easier to do. So let's practice a couple. So the first one says, find the simple interest earned on a deposit of $2,800 that earns 2% 2 interest after five years. Well, my starting dollar amount is right here. So that is my principal. Then there's my interest rate. And remember, we have to rewrite that as a decimal. So 2%, I move the decimal back two times using D to P, you get 0 0.02. And five years, that's the term or the life of the, um, the account that it's earning interest. So that is my T. So now if I write my formula, interest equals PRT, let's plug it in. So again, interest equals P is my principal, that's $2,800 times my rate, which is 0 0.02, and then times my time, which is five. Now at this point, you can use a calculator to help you. And my calculator here, plug it in, so 2800 times 0 0.02, and then times five. So that means my interest that I earned is $280. Now, if this problem said, what is my account balance after five years? We would have to do one extra step. I would have to take my principal and then add my insurance or my interest to it. So if it asked, What's the balance after five years? We would take 2,800 plus 280, and we would get, let's see, $3,080. However, that's not what the question asked, so the question for this, or the answer for this question is 280. Now the next type of problem is compound interest. Um, again, we're still gonna use the same formula that was given to us. So let's go ahead and write it down. My formula is A equals, oops, and a one plus R exponent of a time. So if I plug in my numbers, what I'm given, it says the balance, uh, find the balance on a deposit 
for $818. So again, that's my principal or my starting amount. Um, earns 4% interest, that's my rate. And remember, we always write it as a decimal. And it's compounded, so there's your keyword that tells you which formula to use. And it says for two years, which is my time. So if I plug those pieces in, right here, 818 times one plus, remember, my percent always has to be written as a decimal. And it's over two years, so we're gonna put a two up here in my exponent. Now, we need to use um, Gemma or order of operations to solve it, or you can plug it all into your calculator at once. However, if you don't have a calculator, we use Gemma. So right here is first. So one plus 0.04 is 1.04, and that is squared. So we do parentheses or grouping symbols first. Next, we do exponents. So we have to do this piece next. And if I took 1.04 times 1.04, I am getting this. And to read that correctly, we read that as 1 and 816 ten thousandths. And then at this point, we multiply our, for our last step of Gemma, because it's the last thing we have left. And if I took 818 times 1 and 816 ten thousandths, I would get this as my answer. I would get 884.7488. However, my answer or my question is talking about money. Find the balance. What is the money that I have left over? So remember, money always has two numbers behind the decimal. So I need to look at my last number here or my third number and use it and round to the nearest um, hundredths spot. So if I look at this, eight makes that four go up to a five. Therefore, my final answer is $884.75. So in this case, uh, something just to keep in mind, this includes my beginning amount, my principal, and the interest that I earned, where if I look at the previous question, that answer that I got is only how much you earned on interest. So if you wanted to find the total amount, you would have to add them two together. Just make sure to write your formula down and correctly plug in all your pieces. I suggest as you read the problem, or label each piece of it like I did up here in red, and like I did on the previous problem in red, um, and that should help you. Again, you get to use a calculator on this piece. So once you have all your numbers plugged in, plug it into the calculator exactly the way you see it, and that should um, give you the correct answer.